I was like going down in my studio to see a scorpion on the ground. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh it does do that. Did you hear the one about the guy who couldn't afford personalized plates, so he went and changed his name to J3L2404? Yeah, that's a good one. Today we are going to be talking about the Fujifilm lens abbreviations. That's all those strange letters that appear around the front of the lens or on the listing when you see the lens online for sale. There are so many abbreviations in Fujifilm X-mount lenses that it boggles the mind. I'm gonna go in order of the terminology as you would see it on the front of the lens listed. First off, let's clear up the difference between Fujifilm and Fujinon. Fujifilm is the company that makes all things Fujifilm, that is cameras, lenses, even skincare products. Fujinon is the name of Fujifilm's in-house lens brand. It's sort of like Crest Toothpaste, which is made by Procter & Gamble. So, Fujifilm is the company and Fujinon is the name of the brand of the lenses that they make. So, this is a Fujifilm Fujinon lens. Got it? The first set of abbreviations that you'll see on these lenses is XF and XC. Think of XF as extra fine, extra fine. It's like the Ritz Carlton of lenses. If you see XF on one of these lenses, that means that it's made with the highest quality elements. Sometimes it has rugged metal barrels and weather resistant construction. Now, Fujifilm also makes an X. C lens. Well, there's currently about three XC lenses and they feature plastic barrels and they don't have a dedicated aperture ring on them. The next abbreviation you will see is the letter R. Think of R for the ring. No, not that ring, the aperture ring. If you see R, it means ring, R for ring. The next up is LM, which stands for linear motor, meaning that a linear motor is used for lens element movement during autofocus and manual focus operation. And it actually makes the thing really quiet and really fast, so LM, linear motor, and that's the kind of thing you want to see on a zoom lens from Fujifilm. If the Fujifilm lens does not have LM designation on it, then it doesn't have the LM motor and instead uses a regular cordless DC motor for autofocusing. Okay, next on the list is one of my favorites. In fact, it is my favorite, and not enough Fuji lenses have it. OIS, which stands for Optical Image Stabilization. OIS. Lenses that have OIS have this little button thing right here that when you switch it on, it sets the lens to automatically move some of the lens's optical elements to counteract shake and provide sharper results when slow shutter speeds are used. Optical image stabilization is absolutely awesome. And in fact, right now, I am working on a new video that will feature the OIS on this very 50 to 140 millimeter lens. You're gonna love this video. So make sure you subscribe. Next abbreviation is WR. WR stands for weather resistant construction. And this can be a confusing term when you try and define exactly what does that mean? The lens is constructed using a number of moisture and dust seals designed to protect the lens from dust and water. WR lenses are not designed to be submerged under water, folks. But the idea is that you can use them in a downpour or you can use them in, you know, dusty conditions. But here's the problem with that. How much downpour or for how long or how much dust is too much dusty conditions, right? I mean, where do you put the, where do you draw the line? Are you taking the lens out and shooting farm animals? Or are you, say, going to Burning Man Festival for a wig? You see what I mean? So, I don't know. I simply think of WR as meaning a slightly stronger lens. And frankly, WR does absolute zero to influence my buying decision. You know, since I'm ultra careful with all my lenses anyway, whether or not they have the WR on them. Now on some lenses, you will also see, in addition to abbreviations, you'll see Super EBC or Nano GI. You won't see those when you look at a lens, say if you're gonna purchase it online, but you will see it on the lens itself. So I'm gonna include them here. Super EBC stands for electron beam coating, and it's used to minimize flare and ghosting on the lens. Then you have Nano GI which is gradient index. 
coating technology. It's a coating technology. This Nano GI space system actually was demonstrated at a recent Adobe conference. Check this out and it received a standing ovation from the way it focused the laser. Basically, it reduced everything. Personally, I don't care whether it's super EBC coding or nano GI coding, it doesn't matter to me. But those other abbreviations do matter, particularly OIS. Okay, so let's take what we learned, put it together, and identify a lens. This is the Fujifilm X-T3, it is a Fujifilm Fuji non lens and on it, it is nano GI. It is an XF extra fine. It is 16 millile milliliters. I said milliliters. <laughs> I'm not having a glass of wine after this video. No, 16 millimeters. Um, F 1.4 and here we go. R is ring. It has an aperture ring. Um, w R it's weather resistant. You can take this to burning man and uh, 67 that number there. That simply means the diameter of this thing. Okay. So lastly, you may see a red badge looking thing like this. And these are generally known as Fujifilm's red badge lenses. The XF red badge lenses are the highest standard of the XF. They're the best of the best of the lenses and they get to wear this little pretty red badge because of their performance in both focusing speed and in image quality. And there are currently three XF red badge lenses which are the 16 to 55 millimeter F 2.8, the 50 to 140 millimeter F 2.8 and the 100 to 400 millimeter F 4.5 to 5 5.6. This is the second time I shot this video. I actually shot this entire video, including playing the stupid keyboard. I, I put it in the editor and I looked at it and I didn't like it. I didn't like the energy. I didn't like what I was saying. I, and I said some of this stuff wrong. So I completely redid it. Okay. This stuff's hard. So if you like the video, please subscribe because that tells me that you like the video and also tells me that, that people want to see more videos. Cause let me tell you something, this is hard work. I am not going to make more videos if nobody wants to see them. So if you like the video, please subscribe. Don't do the notifications thing. People have too many notifications as it is. You don't need to be notified when I have new videos, but at least subscribe if you like it. it that kind of tells me that, you know, it's, it's, I'm doing something. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I've got a couple more videos coming out. I'm going to do a full review of this awesome lens and I'm doing a special unboxing two part video that's coming out for a uh, piece of video equipment that you're going to love. So in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions on this, put them in the comments below. I will respond as best I can and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. F and C is the quality of the lens for me. I better do this again. This stuff's hard. <laughs>